Greetings everyone! In today's video, we're going to make a square spring using a combination of surfaces and solid bodies. The design methodology is called hybrid modeling and enables you to create a lot of complex parts and shapes in SolidWorks. Let's start by opening a new part. Now our plan for this model is to create a helical sweep surface cut or trim the surface down into a square shape and then capture that edge of that surface with a 3D sketch and use that as a path for a solid sweep to create our spring. So our first step is to create the helical sweep. We'll start by creating two sketches on the top plane. The first sketch is going to be of a circle with a diameter of 3 inches or excuse me, with a diameter of 5 inches. Exit the sketch. Now we are going to create another sketch on the top plane. This is just going to be a simple line that runs from the center of the sketch or the center of the circle to its end. And we just want to make sure it's uh, linked up to the edge here. Okay. Now this uh, Now the circle here is going to be the start of our, or is going to be for our helix, and the line here is going to be the profile for our sweep that's going to use the helix as its path. So we're going to start by making a helix. So to make a helix, you go up to the curves option, or option, and go down to helix or spiral. And we're going to select the circle. Now we'll set the pitch to be constant and have the defined by be set to height and pitch. We'll set the height to 3 inches and the pitch to 0.25 inches and the start angle to 0 degrees clockwise and we won't have any taper on it. Hit OK. Actually, we need to adjust this because it needs to link up with the sketch here. So let's change that and set the start angle to 270. There we go. Alright, now we are going to go into our surfaces tab and select surface sweep. For the sketch profile we're going to select the line and hit the green checkbox on the selection manager and for the path we are going to select the uh, the helix open loop and hit the green checkbox This creates this complex corkscrew uh, surface here with no actual thickness. Uh, we're going to use a surface extrude to trim away the sweep and create our own path for the square spring. So let's open up a new sketch on the top plane. and do a center point square. With a height of two inches and a width of three inches. And we're gonna add a 0.125 corner radius. The corner radius is to simulate the bend in the spring at the corners. Otherwise, it would just go from one, it would just end in a 90 degree angle and it wouldn't look very realistic. Alright, now I hit the green checkbox. Alright, and exit the sketch. Okay, now we're going to go to our surfaces tab and select surface or extrude surface. 
and we just want to make sure this passes all the way through the uh, surface revolve, which it does, and hit the green checkbox. All right. So now we are going to use our trimming, our trim surface tool, to cut away at the helix, so it will go, it will conform to the square shape of the extrude. So we'll select the trim surface tool, and we'll select standard, and the extruded surface is already pre-selected as our trimming tool. We want to remove sections because we want to cut away at this outer area here. So we'll just select that and hit the green checkbox. And we'll hide the uh, helix sketch just so you can see better. All right, and we'll also hide the surface extrude. All right, so now we have our nice square profile that we're looking for. To create the sketch for the path, we need to go and create a new 3D sketch. So let's select the Sketch tab in the, on the Sketch icon, hit the drop-down menu, and select 3D Sketch. And we're going to go to Convert Entities. I already had something pre-selected. So we're going to discard that. Let's just hit the rebuild just to make sure everything's cleared. Okay, try that again. Sketch, 3D sketch, convert entities, and we're going to just select the surface and hit the green checkbox. Now, in addition to the outer profile, it also captured the vertical line that runs down the center and these two lines that connect the outer profile to that vertical line. So we are going to select all three of these and set them to construction. So select uh, four construction there, hit the green check. All right, exit out of the sketch. All right, now we need to hide the surface We'll right click on it and select hide. Alright, now we have our profile for our square spring. We will go to the features tab and select sweep boss base. Now we know that the profile for the spring is going to be a, square, a round piece of wire. So instead of creating a sketch for the profile, we can simply just select circular profile and set the diameter. We will set the diameter to 0.125 inches and select the 3D sketch for the path. And hit the green checkbox. Now our last step is to add a material. So we will go to material, edit material, and just select the basic plain carbon steel and close out. And there we go, there's our square spring. This has been just a quick tutorial on a hybrid modeling technique. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to get notifications about future videos. Thank you and have a great day.